Hey guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so we're still at the airport. We just dropped daddy off. He's getting ready to head back to Houston and we are got the giggles. <laughs> we're going to go to Sprouts and pick up a few things. I have some really great digital coupons. Um, and this will just be a few items. We'll go and do our regular grocery hop, um, shopping later on um, this week. But today we're going to go and get some goodies and run a couple errands before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be 91 or 92 today. Wow. So we got our water bottles and we are... We got our water bottles and we are ready to go. So I'll see you guys back whenever we get our goodies from Bye. Sprouts. So we made it back home guys. It is so hot, oh my goodness. But I won't complain because we've been dealing with power outages for the past two days. So <laughs> I'm so happy whenever we got back home because we have been getting alerts from Duke Energy that the power was still um, out, but it's out for um, some other people in our area, not for us. And so, thank goodness. Although I do feel really bad for them, because like I said, it's 90 some degrees here. Um, but anyways, this is everything that I got from, oh wait, this too, from um, Sprouts. As I was checking out, the cashier said, well, if you grab something, um, you need like 65 more cent. I have a five off of 30 that, you can use and so I saw these little bunch of bananas and so I got those so I was really happy about that but let's start I got the Johnny Pops and we haven't tried these before um, but this one is grape and it looks amazing and Carter wanted the salted caramel one, so we actually ate this box in the car and they were pretty good um, but these were BOGO so it was two for seven basically the good karma milk, I like to have the shelf stable, especially if we're traveling and stuff. Um, but this was on sale for $3.50 and then I had a $2 digital, so it made it just $1.50. We've never tried this pepperoni before, but I told the kids I would make them on um, pizza tonight. So we decided to pick this up and it was $2.99. The diet cheese was on sale for $3 and then I have 50 cent back on the bottom. And then I had a coupon for a dollar twenty-five, maybe. Let me see. I think it was, so it'll make it. Where is it? Yeah, it was a dollar twenty-five off. So it'll make it like a dollar twenty-five after that. I bought a rebate. Alexandra just wanted some um, plums, so we got a bag of those. And these red hots. Carter loves these Garden of Eden. Um, this was a whole one-pound bag. But they were on sale for $4.99 and I had a $2 digital, so it made it just $2.99. Somehow in the car, the bag got busted though, so I'll have to find something else to put it in. And then those were the bananas that we got. Um, so here's my receipt. So it was $31.59 and he did that $5 off and then plus all my um, totals, I mean all my coupons. So it ended up being just $24. 84 which i thought was really great so we did stop thank you starling <laughs> so we also had thank you <laughs> we also had these enjoy life cookies i completely forgot about them because we also opened those on the way home but those were 3.99 and then we had a dollar 50 um digital so it made them just 249 and we have had the snickerdoodle ones before and they were good but we haven't had them in a while um so yeah, this was everything that we got for $24. So we stopped at Chick-fil-A on the way home and got some um, waffle fries and some Polynesian salsa. I've been craving it for the past couple of days. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. And we also are listening to, what is it guys? Where the mountain meets the moon? Yeah. Yeah, on the Libby app. And it is so, so, so good. So I think we're gonna listen to that while we're having our fries before we start afternoon schooling. So a few hours have passed and we are pretty much done with school. The guys are finishing up their um, social studies project and then we're gonna be done for the day. So I'm super excited about that. I just got finished looking over the new Publix ad for this week. Well, it's about to start. 
um, and there's some pretty good deals. So I'm really excited about it, especially the Alpha Breakfast Burritos because Carter really likes um, the pizza ones. And so maybe he'll like these. So the Breakfast Burritos and the sandwiches are gonna be BOGO. Plus there's an Ibotta rebate, so they'll both be free. So I'll get two Breakfast Burritos and two breakfast sandwiches for completely free which is my favorite time to try new products when you can get it for free. Oh, Bernard made it to Houston. Yay. <laughs> so, um, I'm really excited about that deal. And there was something else. Oh, the Dr. Prager's. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So, if you hear somebody, it's the boys. They're always loud. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do Publix and um, I think I'm just going to do Publix and Walmart this week. I'm really excited to see if my um, birthday freebie will be on Publix. I can't remember if they did it at the beginning of June or if it was like closer to my birthday. So, and tomorrow is the beginning of June. So, there'll be all of these new coupons and... Um, new rebates and all that stuff. So that should be really fun. So I'm excited to um, check everything out in the morning. So I roughly started on my shopping list and also on our menu plan for the week. Last week, we were just winging it, guys. <laughs> we were um, traveling and so that always makes a difference too. So we had some things that I picked up from the grocery store we were actually in um, Cherokee and Bryson City and Asheville. And so I was able to go to, sorry, I'm looking out the window, some birds flying around. <laughs> but I was able to stop in at Food Lion um, when we were in Cherokee, but it was raining, raining, raining. So I didn't share that with you guys. But um, I found a lot of really new, well, not a lot, but I found two new products. They were like these white chocolate covered, um, pretzels I think they were called lemon cheesecake and they were really good and then there were another it was another pretzels like what was it mustard and onion or something like that but they were really good and I've never seen them at my food line before so we all tried them and I think everybody liked the the lemon cheesecake one I don't think Alexandra liked the other ones though but it was new um and it was nice I'm so excited about, you know, seeing so many different vegan options. Whenever we were in, um, where did we go? Sprouts. <laughs> when we were in Sprouts today, oh my goodness. Like I was able to look up and down every single aisle and look in the bakery and stuff. So they had vegan muffins and cookies. Um, I did see a vegan chocolate cake. But I was just really surprised. Like at Whole Foods, they have the Abe's vegan muffins. But, you know, they are the little mini ones, which are really good. Um, but these were like the huge muffins that they um, would be made in the bakery. And then they had the huge chocolate chip cookies that you could get like the single ones. And then they also had the box ones. They had chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin. So it was just, it was a lot of options. I mean, so many different yogurts that I had never seen before. Um, I didn't really pay attention if there were a lot of different milks, but they had a lot of really great options though. Um, so whenever I'm closer to Sprouts again and I'm able to, I'll definitely stop in there again. And they have like a sampling program where you can get free products to try out on the first. And I think in my area it says that it's available at like noon or something. So I'm definitely gonna check that out tomorrow and see if I can get some more freebies. So that'll be fun. Um, we're just winding down for the evening. It seems like my to-do list is growing. Does that happen to you guys? Like, oh, like I wanna wash my hair, but it's almost six o'clock, so that's probably not gonna happen. Mm -mm. I still have to cook dinner, and I need to make some banana muffins for us to have for breakfast in the morning and for, for school, so I don't know. We'll see, guys. It's just 
never ending. It's always something to do. <laughs> so I guess I better get started on the pizza crust for pizza. And then I think I'm gonna do the banana muffins. Before I get started on the pizza dough, Alexandra wanted to show you guys how we make our pizza sauce. So here's everything that we need. It's really simple, sugar, salt, um, garlic powder, one can of tomato paste, and some Italian seasoning. So this is the recipe, oh, it's a glare on it. But here's the recipe that we use. Um, I found this on momonamission.me some years ago. Um, yes. So just scrape it all out. But this recipe is really simple, guys. So you basically add the pan, a tomato paste, then you fill up that can with water, you add your seasoning, and you just mix it all up, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is a part of pizza making that the kids always help out with. It's one thing for me to cross off on my list that I don't have to do. Tonight is going to be pretty simple since store-bought cheese so the only thing that I have to do is make the dough so Alexandra's filling up our can with some water and then we are going to add it to it all right so I'm gonna stir around in this can and get the rest of the stuff out Mm -hmm. It's a little bit chunky. Make sure you start really low at the bottom. The bottom part is holding gold out. All right, let's show it. All right, so Alexandra got her sauce finished, and here it is. Looks and smells delicious. Let's get on to our pizza. So we already have our yeast and water, of course, salt and sugar. And we just have to add our flour and our butter. I usually use oil, but the container that I decided to use to put my extra oil in this time, it locked up on me and nobody's been able to get it open. So <laughs> I definitely have to get some oil when I go to the store. So we're just gonna use butter this time. I don't think I told you guys, but I'm using Money Saving Moms um, pizza dough. I've used it for years too. And it's really great because it's freezer friendly. So, um, that's really great. You can make it ahead and just have it in the freezer. And I've done that before and it's really great to have on hand. But let's go ahead and add our flour. Mom? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and close it down, babe.
now putting the cheese on the on our pizza. Our little sister and and Carter is helping put the cheese on. We're gonna have a lot of cheese. And Starling will be putting the pepperoni on, which is. Hmm. I'm making it go bad. Starling, you know that's you. Alright, so you want to put on some pepperoni? No, cheese. No, not yet. And put your cheese on the top of it so sure. to hold it in, okay? Sure. Oh, you got to get a little bit. Get that pep. And add that rolling on. Put in the pepperoni on. And I'm videoing it. So I already added that nice glazed cheese to it. As you can see, I'm putting it in a circle so the cheese will melt out and it'll look like a flower. Mm -hmm. But you have to put some in the metal style, don't forget. Caught me staring at lots of people in your left. So the pizzas are out and it looks really yummy. I already washed my dishes and so I'm letting the oven cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the banana muffin. Well, this is my recipe that I like to use. Um, I changed it up a little bit from Serenity Now blog. I used to use this back before I was a vegan but um, it just called for one banana which is how I searched and I was able to find it. But now, instead of using any type of butter or oil, I use coconut milk full fat. And I also like to do half white sugar and half brown. I didn't have any brown sugar, so I just mixed some molasses in with some white sugar. And then I just do a dash of cinnamon, some um, pecans, or today I'm using walnuts. And sometimes I toast them, but I didn't. I'm already really hot, so. <laughs> I just want to get this done quickly so I can get the oven off and um, some chocolate chips. I like to use the mini ones, but I only have the ones that I got from Trader Joe's, so I'm going to use those. And I'm going to turn this into some muffins. Here you can see where I broke this and changed it. So yeah, guys, let's get started. I already got my bananas here. I'm going to mash those. That's my brown sugar and mixture of white sugar. So let's get started.
well guys that's a wrap on today i got the rest of the muffins done they smell so good can't wait to have some tomorrow the kids wanted some before they went to bed but i said no 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 you gotta wait until tomorrow so i'm going to wash the rest of these dishes sweep the floor call my mama edit this video and probably get ready for bed because as you can tell i'm tired i know i look it so <laughs> I'm gonna get ready to um, go guys. Thank you so much for hanging with us today. I hope that whenever you um, see this, I hope that you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.